Mr. Running Bear. Daniel. Daniel. There is a federal bureau that watches over wild mustangs. Yes, but like any other branch of the government, too much to govern, too few people to do it. There are thousands of wild horses scattered throughout the United States. And every one of them is protected by law. Yes, but when someone like Bus Carter breaks the law, it's very hard to press charges. The largest landowner and his standing with the local cattlemen's association makes him a very influential man in the county. He also plays dirty. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I've had most of my wardrobe made for the year, and I don't have anything to go with one of those. So I'm, uh, I'm afraid I'll have to return this money you gave us. Face. Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell Mr. Lee I didn't have enough to cover your fee. No, you're not. <laughs> you're right. I had to meet you to convince you how important this really is. We've had it happen to us before, haven't we, Amy? I don't think it ever hurts to listen to anyone's troubles. We always working for chump change. This time we're trying to save a bunch of horses. But these horses have been there for as long as my people can remember. They're part of the land, part of my tribe. Surely you can appreciate the importance of one's heritage and traditions. I will raise the money eventually. Look, all I ask is that you come down and take a look. See for yourselves. If that doesn't convince you, then I understand. Well, I guess anybody who's crazy enough to take on three jeep loads of armed rustlers on horseback by himself deserves special consideration. He's still working for almost nothing again. Once again, the mysterious Range Rider sets out on another thrilling adventure with his trusty steed, Thunder, who, who will remain behind just this one time. Well, guys, shall we saddle up? Colonel Decker, did you hear that? You know this guy? Everyone in Vietnam knew him. He's one of those guys that always got the job done under any circumstances, and he never lost any sleep over how he did it. Yeah, Hannibal and this guy mixed it up once in the Doom Club. The Doom Club? Uh, the denying officer's open mess. Well, you didn't like the way he sugared his coffee? No, I didn't like the way he blew up Kong hospitals like it was his favorite sport. Give yourself up, or I'll flush the whole building and everyone inside of it right in the sewer. Is he kidding? Man, it sounds like he's crazy. Decker is crazy. Look, maybe I should go out and talk to him. You want me to start blasting, Smith? Well, Hannibal? I'm thinking. Think faster, man! Uh, Decker, this is Smith. You gotta cool out. What if we had an innocent person in here? Who might that be? Amy Allen? I'd hardly call her innocent. Okay, look. No talk. You come out or we come in. You're not gonna like it if we come in. I'm giving you two minutes. Don't you love it? No matter how smart they think they are, they always screw up somehow. Come on, let's get the weapons out of the van. Two minutes? What are we gonna do in two minutes, Hannibal? Well, you heard the man. We're going out the front door. obvious. They really have no choice. With anyone but Colonel Hannibal Smith. With him, nothing is obvious. Well, what can he do? We'll find out in about 40 seconds. Team once and for all. What about Hannibal? You'll be all right.
Get those civilians back. Keep the civilians out of the way. All right, the show's over. Go back to work. Come on, move along. Hey, you got a light, pal? Sure. Keep them. Thanks, pal. The sheriff? I thought those guys were wanted. I think we should try to swing by the reservation. Maybe we can pick up a bunch of guys and maybe they'll come out and help. Yeah, and if not, then we'd be wasting time. I want to head straight for the sheriffs. My only worry is keeping those guys from being killed. Hannibal can always find a way to escape. That kind of sounds like the way Hannibal would think. Holy! Lucky for me, running into you like this. I don't understand. You are Daniel Running Bear, aren't you? Why do you ask? Your license plate. And I have a description of this vehicle. I'm Colonel Decker of the U.S. Army. I've been trying to reach you at home all day. I finally decided to drive up to speak with you. Good thing, too, or we might have missed each other again. I have a lot of important things I have to take care of. So do I. I want to know where the A-Team is. <laughs> The A-Team? Yes. I'm sure you can tell me. If not, I feel certain Miss Allen can. And I'm prepared to stand here all week. I hope you yahoos enjoy a little trip, courtesy Carter Railways. Unfortunately, though, they ain't no return tickets. I always wanted to see the country by rail. Get rid of them, guys. We don't want any eyeball witnesses on board. All right, rest you boys, head on back. Let's get a little work done. We still got some steers need branding. Now, when you get across the border, Adio James.
you must be getting real weak. You can't break these puny little ropes. Hey. I'm just kidding. B.A., grab that brake wheel. We gotta stop this train. We're coming to the border. Those Mustangs near New Mexico, we got no evidence. I think there's something real interesting you'd like to know about that train. It's used to move out wild Mustangs off the reservation illegally. And I think this gentleman uh, has a lot to answer for. I do believe that's a federal offense, isn't it, Colonel? Yes, ma'am, it is. Next time, Hannibal Smith. Next time, 